This video is to accompany making Paige, the pink fairy armadillo. Um, and so I'm just going to cover a few techniques that are specific to this project. So you'll find loop stitch. Um, then we're going to cover making this armor by going backwards and forwards into um, that back loop. So first, just to recap a loop stitch for you. So for your body and your head um, and the first part, the tops of all of the um, arms and legs, you're going to be using a loop stitch. And to do a loop stitch in your double crochet stitch, what you need to do, put your hook into the next stitch along that you're going to work a loop into, hold the yarn through your fingers like this and make a thumbs up. Then take your thumb over the top away from your body. So away from your body and then up towards you to create a loop like that that sits around your thumb. And then the important bit is to bring the hook underneath. So you're coming right the way underneath the yarn like that. Yarn over with that, that yarn that's coming around the back of your thumb. So that's the one that's on the top, the strand that's on the top. Yarn over with that. Bring that through the stitch to the point where you've got two loops on your hook. You can then fix your loop to the length that you need it to be. And if stated in my pattern as a specific loop length, length, it will be from the fabric to the tip of the loop like that. And then you just finish your double crochet stitch off as normal. So I'll show you that again in one smooth movement. I'll do a normal double, cro a normal double crochet in between. So what you do, put your hook in through the stitch you're going to put a loop in. Do a thumbs up, yarn over the top and back through so you've got a loop like that. Then come underneath and then finish the stitch off as normal. So that's how to do a loop stitch, which you're doing for the majority of the body parts. But then what's specific to this pink fairy armadillo is this um, piece of armour that you're going to crochet actually backwards and forwards that you then sew on to the back. So just to recap that with you, this is what we're aiming to produce here. I'm using um, peony, that was pink with cream that you saw there. It's peony that I'm using here um, to do this one. So I'm on row 11 here and what I've done is I've set off um, and done the first few rows just so that you can start to see the pattern forming and what I'm aiming to show you is how we create these ridges by just working into the back loop on the odd rows. So I've done um, 10, I've got myself up to nine stitches across the top um, and you count those just in the same way that you would normally but what we're going to do is we're going to turn back and we're going to half treble nine and then we're going to be turning back in the opposite direction. So I'll just show you um, when we're doing that just into the back loop. So there's your stitches along the top there, those V's. So what we do to do a half treble we go around the hook and we're going to go in the middle of that V like that yarn over and back to the point where we've got three loops and then you yarn over and you go through all three in one motion to do a half treble so go on to the next stitch but as I said before we're just going to work the back loop so you put your hook in the middle of the v like that and just crochet that half treble into the back and what that does is it's obviously using the back of the stitch in order to um, work that stitch into it, but it leaves the front of the stitch there, which causes that ridge on the front of your um, fabric and the side facing you, and that will then um, go on to create those lovely ridges in the fabric. So um, when you get to the end, you work the last one, then you turn the work and chain one, and then you're off again. And on the even ones, just to clarify, you would be working into the whole stitch. So when you go back on those even rows in between, because we're only looking to create the ridges spread out, you would actually be going beneath the whole V like that on the even rows as you go back. So you go across doing your half trebles like that. You'll be increasing at the ends. Um, again, follow your pattern as the pattern states. Increasing at the ends means that that's going to um, grow bigger as we go down the piece that creates the back. You can turn first and then you can chain or you can chain first and you can turn. That doesn't really matter, whichever is your preference. And then remember that once you're on an odd row again, which I would be now, what you're going to go, go back to is doing those half trebles, but only going into the back loop like that which once again, if you go across and you work those half trebles, will leave that lovely ridge on the front of the panel. Mm -hmm. 